Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into an essential topic for the food industry, cleaning methods. Cleanliness is top priority when it comes to food safety, and two primary methods are widely used, CIP and COP. But what are these methods, and how do they differ? Let's find out. First, let's explore clean in place, or CIP. This method involves cleaning equipment without disassembling it. CIP systems are designed to clean the interior surfaces of tanks, pipes, and other equipment. The process often utilizes a mix of cleaning agents and high-temperature water to sanitize the equipment. One of the main advantages of CIP is efficiency. It significantly reduces downtime by cleaning equipment in place. This means less labor and less risk of contamination. Plus, it's environmentally friendly, as it reduces water usage. CIP is commonly used in the dairy and juice industry, where tanks and pipelines are cleaned without manual disassembly, saving time and ensuring a higher level of hygiene. On the other hand, we have clean out of place, or COP. This method involves removing equipment from the processing line for cleaning. It's necessary when some equipment is not designed for in-place cleaning. COP has its place in the food industry, especially for equipment that has complex parts or is challenging to clean in place. It allows for a more thorough cleaning of all equipment surfaces. A classic example of COP is the cleaning of meat grinders. They have many intricate components that must be disassembled and thoroughly cleaned to prevent cross-contamination and ensure food safety. Now, let's compare these two methods. The most significant difference lies in whether the equipment is cleaned in place or removed for cleaning. Clean in place is known for its efficiency and reduced downtime, while clean out of place ensures more thorough cleaning. Choosing between them depends on the specific equipment and your operational needs. Some equipment is designed for clean in place, while others must undergo clean out of place. The advantages of CIP include reduced labor, minimized contamination risks, and lower water consumption. It's particularly useful for tanks and pipes with a simple design. COP offers a more thorough cleaning of complex equipment. It's suitable for items with intricate components, like conveyor belts, mixers, and filling machines. Now, let's talk about the challenges and considerations. For CIP, you need well-designed equipment to ensure it's cleanable in place. For COP, it's essential to consider equipment accessibility, maintenance, and costs. Remember, to optimize these processes, follow recommended guidelines and practices. It will keep your food processing facility clean and safe. In conclusion, CIP and COP are both vital cleaning methods in the food industry. The choice between them depends on your equipment and specific operational needs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your colleagues in the food industry, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you for joining us today. As always, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.